On Sunday the 21st of February, Aston Villa will go against Leicester. Uh, five minutes past two, which is a very strange time for a game to start. Uh, this is obviously going to be a preview to that game. So obviously if you're going to enjoy the video, please subscribe to the channel. We're at 255 subscribers right now. So yeah, we only asked for 250. So it's really nice that uh, the numbers are still going up. So obviously we are on the way to 300. Uh, like the video, put a comment in the comment section. I'll reply to anyone basically. And yeah, let's just get right to the preview. <laughs> Leicester, um, we won actually 1-0. Uh, it's been a long time since we won at the King Power Stadium. Obviously, the last time we went there, we lost 4-0 when we were at our worst last season and uh, somehow stayed up. But um, that last game, it was definitely... Oh, I, I wouldn't really say 50-50. I think um, it would definitely been a fair draw. Um, but I do feel like we sort of were there to win, if you know what I mean. Like, we definitely had that sort of edge over Leicester because obviously they just came off a 3-0 defeat to West Ham and we just came off a 7-2 win to Liverpool um, but yeah since then things have changed Leicester are just amazing right now obviously they're third in the table with 46 points and we're eighth in the table with 36 points so obviously both our forms have just just gone up basically obviously uh, we've had an amazing turnaround from last season they've just kept that form going um, but last season, obviously, they did get Europa League. They definitely deserve a Champions League spot, if you ask me. The last few, three games, Villa have had withdrawn one, won one, and lost one. Leicester have won one, drawn one, and won one. So, obviously, they're having a better season right now. But, yeah, it's just... Um, obviously, Leicester are an amazing team. Like They've had a real good turnaround. And, obviously, we're having a good turnaround right now, talking about Europa League and that. Um, and another thing I wanted to speak about, I was going to do that Blues video like I mentioned in the last video um, But I just thought about it, it's just, it's just irrelevant really It's just, they go down, they're going to go down, they crap their shit Like, I don't even give a shit about them obviously um, You know, we've got rivals, we've got rivals with West Brom and Wolves But at least they have something about them, with Blues they're just, they're just dog shit really So instead of that I will be doing a video on where Aston Villa will uh, end off in the table. I know I've already done one. I think it was around six months ago, but I wanted to do one now, um, judging off the table. Because obviously, last time I did it, uh, the season didn't start, and obviously, who would have thought we'd be where we are right now? Players to look out for then from Leicester, obviously, Barley. I thought he would be injured for this game. It looks like he's going to be back. And obviously, that's a massive boost for uh, Leicester. Uh, Madison looking really good, but he's not quite greenish, obviously. Uh, Barnes, definitely a player I'd have in uh, our team, but. You know, he's, he's just doing amazing for Leicester City right now. Uh, Schmeichel in goal. Um, you know, you could compare him to Martinez, but he hasn't got as many clean sheets as Martinez. So obviously, Martinez is better. Uh, Tienemans, obviously, someone to look out for as well. And Perez. Um, if there is any Leicester fans watching this, this is who you need to look out for. Uh, Ollie Watkins, definitely in form right now with around 11 goals. Uh, Troy Ray, Sean Uzoic, sort of sneaky. He will come out with a goal. Uh, if he's given the chance. Grealish, obviously, he's an amazing player. Everyone wants him, but he is a Villa boy. Uh, Sansa, you know, we don't know much about him right now, but I'd definitely say he's definitely an attacking midfielder. Uh, he's not much defensive, but he can be defensive uh, if you wanted him to, but he's definitely more attacking. And, um, yeah, I hope he starts against Leicester. Uh, Barkley, um, he's been a bit off form recent weeks. Obviously, he's had more time on the pitch than actually training. So he's had eight days now since uh, Brighton. So he should be right uh, back in form for Leicester. Because obviously, last time he went against Leicester, he did get the goal. So obviously, he can. So obviously, if he does come back into form, hopefully, he does get a goal again. And obviously, Martinez, sort of my favourite player right now. It's just you know, twelve clean sheets, uh, most of them because of him. You know, it's just, I'm really grateful to have him right now. So that leads me on to the question. Can Aston Villa do the double? We did the double on Arsenal, but we all know Arsenal. They're just easy. They're just easy. But with Leicester, it's a fucking hard game. That's all I can say. Uh, I remember the last time we went against them. It was so, like, 50-50. It was so, like, I don't really know how he won that, but it was just... If we were going to win that, it definitely had to be that goal at the end. Because obviously, um, you know, once you get that goal at the end, you just got to keep, um, obviously, go defensive. But this time around, it's definitely going to be a real hard game. Um, 
just imagine us taking six points to get away from Leicester. That would just be amazing this season. So from a neutral fan's point of view, I think it would be fair for him to say uh, that it would be a 2-2 draw. Purely because we will probably go real defensive in this game. Um, obviously the goals will probably come from like Grealish and Watkins. You know, I think we're definitely going to want to go for this. Obviously we're not going to go into this game just not competing. Obviously every game we're going to try and go for the win. Um, that's just how we are these days. But obviously it's Leicester and an amazing team. So yeah, I think a neutral would say 2-2. Two -two. Um because obviously, I think it would definitely be Leicester being the dominant side. There's no like going around that. But we'll just, you know, somehow hang on. Uh, from my personal opinion, I'd definitely say 2-2 two -two as well. Uh, goals coming from Vardy and Madison or Barnes, obviously. And uh, goals coming from us, I'd probably say Barkley and Watkins, to be honest. I think, you know, once them two are playing, they normally help each other out with goals. Obviously, when uh, Barkley's playing... Uh, Watkins always pops up with a goal, so hopefully we can keep. Hopefully we can get a draw because obviously a point, four points from this season from this is amazing. Uh, now it gets to thirty-seven points, and I don't think we go up or down. I think we just stay eighth. But if we do get a win, I think we go up seventh. So obviously it's getting a bit tight now on the table. Uh, so this is when we really need to go for the wins. And uh, if we do get a win against them, which is like, I say, I'd say there's a forty percent chance. I wouldn't say it's fifty-fifty. Um, that would be amazing going um, going forward on two leads and you know getting a win against them hopefully but yeah that's going to be the video guys I hope you like it, it's going to be a real tough game hopefully we can do the double um, next video after this will definitely be the instant match reaction and probably after that will be who are, where we think we're going to end up in the table so uh, yeah I know we haven't really uploaded on the channel recently and the, the reason is just, just bored basically I just I don't know, I haven't really got anything to do at the moment. Obviously, we are in lockdown still. Nothing really seems to be moving, moving around. And it's just really boring at the moment. So, yeah, oh, the villa with the pride villa. We'll see you in our next video.